Welcome to Variant, everyone. Flash Season 5 is in full effect. In fact, it's currently five episodes in at the time of this video being released. Well, the Variant Nation knows that The Flash has always been one of my favorite superhero TV shows, and I've got to say, I'm digging the new season thus far. I know last season was definitely a weaker season, but it currently seems like Season 5 is off to a better start. In any case, this season has two major new characters, Barry's speedster daughter, Excess, who we'll talk about in a later episode, and the villain of the season, Cicada, who looks like a Mortal Kombat character in the show. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying he does. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you are curious about Cicada's comic book roots, and that's where I come in to break it all down for you. Cicada first appeared in Flash Volume 2, Issue 170 in 2001, and he's actually a pretty psychotic villain in the comics. He was created by Jeff Johns and Scott Collins. Cicada's real name is David Hirsch, and he was born in the year 1890. Yeah, you heard me, he's from the 1800s. David was a preacher at a Catholic church, as well as an architect. But as one would assume, since we all know he becomes a villain, he wasn't the nicest person. He suffered from paranoia and because of this had violent outbursts, which in turn led to him physically abusing his wife Elizabeth. His wife would eventually die, and I'll tell you how later, because that's important. Anyway, one day he was struck by lightning and somehow gained the ability to absorb the life force from other people. By doing this, his lifespan was extended, making him pretty much immortal. But he was crazy even before he got hit by lightning, and believed the lightning that gave him his powers was a sign of being chosen to live forever. He also thought with his newfound power, he could bring his wife back to life. So he then took his wife's corpse and sealed it inside of a metal coffin, and then kept it hidden until he could eventually bring her back to life. See what I'm saying? This guy is crazy. Anyway, over the next several years, he would become the cult leader known as Cicada, and gathered a bunch of followers all with his ultimate plan of one day resurrecting his wife. However, he eventually realized that accomplishing that goal wouldn't be so easy, and that he would need to sacrifice a crap ton of people in order to bring her back. Creepy, I know. Shortly after this revelation, Cicada heard about the Flash of Keystone City, aka Wally West Flash, who was the main Flash at this point in time, who of course operated out of Keystone City and not Central City. Anyway, Cicada was like, yo, this Flash guy is a fellow servant of Lightning, who just so happens to save lives. Meaning, without the Flash, the people that he saved would be dead. Which also means their lives have been extended through the power of lightning. So, in Cicada's twisted psychotic logic, he thought he could use the people Flash had saved over the years to resurrect his dead wife. And since he's the leader of a cult, he sent out his followers arming them with lightning-shaped ceremonial daggers that would steal life energy from the people they killed. And as I just kinda mentioned, those people were individuals in Keystone City that have been saved by the Flash over the years. See what I'm saying? In the comics, he's a dark freaking character. Long story short, Cicada, with the help of Wally West's ex-girlfriend Magenta, who has magnetic powers, eventually captured Wally. They then brought him back to Cicada's cult lair, or sanctum, if you want to be technical. Wally was held prisoner there with a special device devised by Cicada and Magenta. After some pretty creepy cultish activity from Cicada and his followers, Cicada stabs the Flash right in the chest with his lightning-shaped life force stealing dagger while saying, Yes, give us your love. Make my wife live again. And the ceremony works when his mummified corpse of a wife wakes up and she reveals how she died while attacking her husband. Remember earlier when I said her death was important? Well, you're about to find out why. She revealed that he actually killed her during a thunderstorm in the early 20th century. Because remember, as I said earlier, he was crazy and used to abuse her with his violent outbursts. The thunderstorm that he killed her in was also the same thunderstorm in which he was struck by lightning that gave him his powers. Anyway, while fighting off his wife and even the cops at this point, his wife says, How can you so easily throw the truth away, David? To which he says, Throw it away, I am the truth. His wife finally says, Admit your sins. Admit what you did to me, the way you killed me. You're a monster, not a saint. He then kisses her, which in turn steals away her life force, and just holds her corpse saying, Lies. Yeah, lies? You just killed the same woman twice. Anyway, after this, the Flash locks up with him saying, You've done nothing but ruin lives and deceive yourself. You want more power? More control? You want to be blessed by me? To which Cicada says yes, so Flash responds by saying, I have an endless supply at my fingertips. Energy I don't steal from others. Have your fill, pal. And defeats Cicada by overloading him with lightning slash energy. Cicada was then arrested and sent to Iron Heights. However, he later escaped during Grodd's breakout. And that, my friends, is Cicada's origin and most prominent story in the comic books. As for his powers and abilities, Cicada is effectively immortal, as he is able to draw the life force from others. He also has an accelerated healing factor due to his body's increased metabolism. Because of this, his body tissue heals much faster and more extensively than a normal human, 
And lastly, he has some mind control ability. But now you probably want some Cicada reading recommendations. Well, he doesn't have much, but check out the Flash issue 170 through 173 in the Salvation Run series. But that's going to bring another episode of Variant to a close. Remember to check out VariantComics.com as well as our social media. All the links for that are in the description as always. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics. <laughs>